Hello, I'm Luke Hill with Bobcat Company. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Bobcat's depth check system to dig and grade more accurately with your Bobcat compact excavator. Depth check reduces the need for an extra worker in the trench who would manually check the grade or depth with a tape measure or stick receiver. The system also prevents rework from underdigging and overdigging, vastly improving your productivity. Depth check is valuable for trenching utility lines, placing drainage ditches, digging basements, or installing sewer lines and drain fields, along with the site preparation for footings or pads. For depth check, there are multiple sensors on the work group. These sensors together detect the position of the bucket's edge, allowing the operator to set a desired digging depth and work against that benchmark. Inside the cab, operators can continually reference the current and target depths. Audible alerts indicate whether the operator is approaching, at, or beyond the target. Let's take a look at the display, which will guide you to your target depth or grade. To access depth check, simply select the attachments icon and then select depth check. The target is your depth to dig from an established starting point set by the operator. To set or change your target depth, press set target. For example, this could be the desired depth from a surveyor's elevation pin or a known reference point. The depth bar graph moves up and down to show the position of your attachment and its distance to the target. You can see the attachment bar in red. The target below shows where your target is relative to the attachment position, which is a green bar. The graphic to the right represents the attachment rotation. This image will rotate as you curl your attachment in or out. Pressing the arrow icon will display other depth check screens that we will cover later. The bell icon allows you to enable or disable audible alerts based on your preference. The laser icon brings you to the laser setup screen, which you can use if you are pairing depth check with a laser. The setting icon allows you to change various depth check settings. Let's dive into this. Select target is where you can add or edit a target. Select attachment is where you can select any previously calibrated attachments. Preferences is where you can choose from one of three default depth check screens. The first one is dig depth, where you can see a bar graph. Another option is the distance to target screen. Here, an arrow system directs you up or down, depending on your current bucket position. You can also choose the grade check screen. After you bench your attachment, it gives you a rise over run and a slope percentage as you move the bucket. Also in preferences is the set grade zone, set warning zone, and where you can change your units from English to metric. You can change the warning zone and grade zone to choose when and how soon you will hear audible alerts. The warning zone is where the audible alert will start, depending on what measurement you put in. For example, if I have a 12-inch target and I put in a 4-inch warning zone, the audible alert will start sounding 4 inches above my target depth or grade point. Once I reach my target, it will be a continuous alert or solid tone. Additionally, if I dig past my target, the audible alert will be faster. The grade zone setting is the total acceptable distance above and below the target grade point. Within this range, your alert will continuously sound. You can increase or decrease this distance with your own preferred setting. For example, Setting the grade zone to two inches will allow for a variance of one inch above and one inch below grade point. Within this zone, depth check is on grade and will signal a solid audible alert. Now that we've covered the basics, we're ready to dig. First, set the blade on the ground and then set the bucket flat on the ground or place it on the surveyor mark that will establish your starting ground position. Now, set the target. Enter your warning zone and grade zone measurements. Select rebench on the depth check screen. 
you can also press your right joystick button to rebench. At rebench, the depth dimension will set to zero. As the bucket is raised or lowered, the depth dimension will change. The distance to your target depth is shown dimensionally on the left-hand side and on the bar graph. As you begin to reach your target depth, a warning alert, if activated, will slowly beep. The beeps will increase in frequency as you get closer to the target depth or grade setting. When you've reached the target depth, the alert sounds continuously. Remember, the bell icon allows you to enable or disable audible alerts based on your preference. When you reposition the excavator, you must rebench every time. You can rebench based on either ground level for minimal coverage or grade point for sustaining a grade. When rebenching at the bottom of the trench or grade point, set the target depth to zero to continue digging at the original grade point. Now you know the basics of Bobcat's depth check system. For more information, see your operation manual and talk to your Bobcat dealer or visit bobcat.com.